Hi guys, this is Siya Balakrishna. In this class, we will be revising essay 265. Communicating deficiencies in internal control to those charged with governance and management. If you observe, in the previous class, we have revised essay 260, which deals with communication with those charged with governance in general. But this standard essay 265 is related to specific communication related to deficiencies in internal control it deals with specific aspect and here in SA 265 communication has to be made both to those charged with governance as well as management okay SA 260 speaks about communication with those charged with governance only but here SA 265 deals with communication to both those charged with governance as well as management relating to a specific matter that is deficiencies in internal control hope this is clear and this standard is effective from 1st April 2010 now before entering into the standard one thing you have to remember okay what is it First of all, let me read this sentence after that I will explain you. Auditor considers internal controls only to determine nature, timing, extent of audit procedures but not to express opinion on effectiveness of internal controls. See, here the primary objective of the auditor is to express an opinion on financial statements. Okay, for the purpose of expressing the opinion on financial statements he will assess the risk of material misstatement how he will assess the risk of material misstatement he will assess the risk of material misstatement by first of all uh, considering the internal controls okay he will first of all check the internal controls based on how internal controls are being performed or how internal controls are working he will arrive at a risk of material misstatement based on this risk of material misstatement he will design his audit procedures now here auditor is verifying internal controls in order to design his audit procedures but he is not verifying internal controls in order to give opinion on whether internal controls are working effectively or not okay it is not the objective of the auditor to determine whether internal controls are working effectively or not okay instead the auditor is verifying the internal controls so that it would help the auditor to determine the audit procedure okay thereby the first thing that you have to remember is that auditor is not having any responsibility to give opinion on the effectiveness of the internal control okay instead he is verifying the internal controls in order to help him to design the audit procedures hope this is clear okay this is the first thing that you have to remember before studying this standard okay now if you observe whether all the deficiencies in the internal controls will be communicated or only some in uh, some deficiencies in the internal controls uh, will be communicated to the uh, those charged with governance or management let us discuss that before discussing it first of all let us understand what is meant by a deficiency in internal control okay auditor speak uh, this uh, standard speaks about deficiency in internal control first of all what is meant by deficiency in internal control okay these two types of situations will be coming under deficiency in internal control the first one is internal controls are being present but the existing internal controls are not able to uh, detect prevent or correct the material misstatements in the financial statements okay there are internal controls in the organization but the existing internal controls are not sufficient to detect prevent and correct material misstatements in the financial statements okay this would be a uh, uh, first situation which will be known as deficiency in internal control and the second situation is there are no internal controls at all okay in the organization internal controls are missing even this will be covered under deficiency of internal controls okay in these two situations it will it would be said that in the organization 
there are some deficiencies in the internal controls okay what is the first situation first situation is internal controls are being present but the existing internal controls are not sufficient okay second one is internal controls are not at all present okay internal controls are missing in this case it would be said that there is deficiencies in the internal control now whether all the deficiencies will be communicated or only some deficiencies will be communicated okay the answer is only significant deficiencies in the internal control will be communicated to those charged with governance now what is meant by uh, significant uh, deficiencies in the internal control now you understood what is meant by deficiencies in the internal control after understanding this deficiencies in the internal control to call these deficiencies as significant deficiencies the auditor okay if in auditor's professional judgment it is of sufficient importance to merit attention of those charged with governance okay first of all auditor has found some deficiencies in the internal control after finding the deficiencies the auditor based on his professional judgment feels that the uh, the attention of those charged with governance has to be brought to these deficiencies okay auditor feels that it is very important to bring the attention of those charged with governance to these deficiencies in that case such type of deficiencies will be known as uh, significant deficiencies in the internal control I hope this is clear now we understood the difference between deficiencies in internal control and significant deficiencies in internal control okay next uh, basically how the procedure works once the uh, before the auditor starts his work in order to design the audit procedures what the auditor will do is first of first of all he will evaluate the internal controls that are being present in the organization okay based on evaluation he will determine the risk of material misstatement okay based on the risk of material misstatement he will design the audit procedures hope this is clear now when he when he has evaluated internal controls if auditor finds any deficiencies okay whether auditor finds any deficiencies okay auditor has evaluated internal controls in the organization based on the evaluation auditor feels that there are certain deficiencies in the inter, uh, in the internal controls of the organization now auditor will determine whether these deficiencies are significant or not okay if auditor feels that these deficiencies are significant communicate significant deficiencies in writing to both those charged with governance and also to management okay we have already discussed uh, in which situation deficiencies will be known as significant deficiencies okay if auditor feels that those deficiencies are significant he has to communicate those de significant deficiencies in internal control to both uh, those charged with governance as well as management this has to be remembered now he has communicated significant deficiencies to both management as well as those charged with governance and apart from significant deficiencies auditor has also found other deficiencies in internal control okay found during the audit while conducting the audit auditor has also found some other deficiencies in the internal control but not communicated by other parties okay there are some deficiencies in other internal controls and it is duty of some other parties to communicate those deficiencies to management but those parties have not communicated those deficiencies in other internal controls to the management in that case in auditor's professional judgment it is sufficient important to merit attention of the management in that case he has to communicate those deficiencies to only management okay first of all all the significant deficiencies in the internal internal controls will be communicated in writing to both those charged with governance and management and coming to other deficiencies in the internal controls which have been found by the auditor and it is duty of some other person to communicate those deficiencies to the management but they have not communicated and auditor feels that it is very important to bring the attention of management to even these deficiencies also in that case auditor will also communicate these other deficiencies in the internal control to management only 
hope this is clear these deficiencies need not be again communicated to those charged with governance hope this is clear next okay standard says that auditor has to communicate the deficiencies in the internal controls now how the auditor will uh, communicate basically he will communicate through written format now in this written document uh, what should be present okay contents of written communication relating to deficiencies in internal control first of all he has to describe the deficiency description of deficiency and their potential effect okay it is not sufficient if the auditor just describe the uh, deficiency along with the description auditor should also give an idea to the management what could be the possible loss that the entity can incur due to deficiency in this internal control okay only if auditor provides or auditor gives an idea of the probable loss that the entity can incur due to this deficiency the management or those charged with governance uh, you know will give some importance to those deficiencies and will take measures to correct those deficiencies thereby it is necessary along with describing the deficiency in the internal control auditor should also provide the potential effect of such deficiencies hope this is clear this will be communicated okay description of the deficiency what is the deficiency in the internal control and due to such deficiency what will be the uh, you know impact or what would be the loss that is incurred to the organization and apart from this auditor should also provide certain information to the management and those charged with governance so that the management and those charged with the governance will be able to understand the context in which the auditor is communicating okay sufficient information to enable those charged with governance and management to understand the context in which the auditor is uh, making this communication now first of all relating to this the auditor has to first of all communicate to those to those charged with governance as well as management about the purpose of or the about the objective of the auditor okay purpose of audit was to express opinion on financial statements okay auditor has to communicate to those charged with governance as well as management that the purpose of my audit is not to give you uh, a, a opinion on whether internal controls are performing effectively or not okay that is not my purpose my purpose is to give opinion on whether financial statements are free from material misstatement okay thereby you have to uh, understand or take my communication only in this context okay you have to take my con uh, communications only in in relation to the context of audit of financial statements but not in relation to uh, sufficiency or effectiveness of the internal controls hope this is clear next internal controls are considered to design audit procedures but not to express on the effectiveness of the con uh, internal controls okay auditor should also communicate that i am determining or i am considering these internal controls in order to in order to design my audit procedures but i am not considering these internal controls in order to give opinion whether they are working effectively or not okay and communications are limited to those uh, deficiencies that auditor identified during audit and which are of sufficient importance to merit consideration of those charged with governance okay auditor should also communicate stating that i am not communicating all the deficiencies to you okay while performing the audit the deficiencies that have came across me or the deficiencies that i have identified and which i feel that your uh, attention is necessary for these deficiencies only those types of deficiencies i am communicating to you okay even there might be some other deficiencies which i was not able to identify okay this has to be communicated to those charged with governance as well as to the management by the auditor okay this is how the auditor will communicate relating to deficiencies in the internal control now we have said that auditor will communicate only significant deficiencies in the internal controls to those charged with governance now what are the factors that will help the auditor to determine whether the deficiency is a significant one or not okay 
in order to determine whether a particular deficiency is a significant one or not, there are certain factors that will help to the auditor. What are those factors? Okay. There are some factors. Let us see. Likelihood of deficiencies leading to material misstatements in the financial statements. Okay. Whether these deficiencies will lead to a material misstatement in the financial statements. In that case, that, that, that deficiencies might be a significant one. Okay or susceptibility of loss or fraud okay if these deficiencies uh, will result into any loss or fraud even then those deficiencies would be of a significant one and subjectivity and complexity in determining estimated amounts okay financial statements amount exposed to deficiencies volume of activity that has occurred uh, or could have could occur in respect of those deficient areas okay all these factors will help the auditor to determine whether the internal control whether the deficiencies in the internal control are of significant one or not okay by this essay 265 revision is completed in the next video uh, we will revise essay 299